What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Although this is a BMW 335i drift channel, um, one of the most viewed videos on my channel is how to replace a 2021 Chevy Silverado mirror. With that being said, it's kind of weird. Um, I was actually about to buy these after I left through the truck because I tow the drift, tar drift car pretty often. Uh, a company called Sanur reached out to me and was willing to send me a set to try and make a video of the install. So. With that being said, I'm gonna toss them on the car right now. It's a little rainy outside and I gotta pick up the kids in a little bit. So the lights do come with cool functions like switchback LEDs for turn signals, a spotlight on the front and a reverse light. But there's some figuring out I have to do with the wire harness and pinning it into the chassis harness. It is possible. I just don't have the time today. But for now, I'm gonna show you how quick and easy it is to install these mirrors. Super easy, quick process. So you lift this handle up. Behind here, there's a panel with a little tab. Pry that back, and then that'll give you access to a seven millimeter bolt. If you have power tools, make the job way easier. So my truck from the factory, my truck's a 2021. From the factory, it didn't come with uh, any lights or anything like that. So that's the reason why I'm gonna wait on the wiring. This little trim piece right here, you want to pop it up and pull it back. So pop and pull back. They'll give you access to two more seven millimeter bolts. Kind of reach in there and grab those. Or leave them in there. You guys can't see, but at the bottom, there's going to be a couple more bolts. And that should be it for the bolts holding on to the door panel. What you want to do here is just kind of grab somewhere on the door panel and kind of pull it back. There's just going to be clips all the way around. Sounds aggressive, but you won't break anything. You just got to pull evenly. These bolts came free. lift up and over the door lock and ideally you want to remove this whole door panel by just releasing this one clip and this wire harness but for the time's sake I'm just gonna go ahead and pry this gasket open there's a wire harness right here yep so I just pried the gasket open there's a wire harness right here pull the red tab back Push down on the black tab, remove that. That wire harness is now free. And from here, be able to access these 13 millimeter nuts that are holding on the mirror. At the rate we're going, I think you can install these mirrors in less than 10 minutes. Just because I gotta pick up the kids, but. The wiring seems easy, I just gotta connect three wires from the mirrors to the chassis to get a turn signal and the running light. So with one person, what I like to do is just kinda get them loose. And then what I'm, I'm gonna stand on my running boards and then reach over and grab the mirror so it doesn't fall off. Back them up. That should be good. You want to take these out by hand because I did drop a bolt on the other side through the hole. So when you get them broken free and loose, just kind of do the rest by hand. I was able to fish it out by removing the speaker and going to the bottom, but to save you the headache, just go ahead and Take them off by hand. I'm gonna reach over and grab the mirror out. It's that easy. So, been five minutes. Took the mirror off. I'm gonna go grab the other mirror and then uh, we'll toss it in. Okay, so from the other side, I was able to slide the new mirror in. Now, be very careful if you're doing this by yourself. But same thing. One arm over, kind of supporting the mirror. Start the nuts, 
As long as you got one in, you're pretty safe. To the opposite corner. Real quick, while there's an awkward moment of silence, I just wanna say thank you to the company Sanewer for sending this out. The link will be in my bio, um, straight to their Amazon store or whatever. And so far, the build quality is amazing. It's like OEM. And I'll do my first drive with it and I'll be drifting next weekend. So I'll let you know how it is towing. So I got the race car back in the garage. It's still drizzling a little bit, but gotta go pick up the kids and see how these mirrors work. At first glance, it looks sick. So let's go for a ride. I can't wait to hook up all the electronics so I can have the cool running lights and everything like that. But the harness uh, that came with it, you can still adjust the mirrors. So right now, moving the mirrors. And I can see so much more now. Can't wait to tow the trailer next week to see how they actually are. Dark ass tent, but yeah, let's go for a ride and then I'll give you guys my uh, opinion on them. All right, so we're about five miles down the road, uh, about to pick up the kids and so far, I freaking love them. I can see so much now. And uh, before, when I was researching like which ones to buy, and before the company reached out to me to uh, send them to me, I heard that the cheaper ones would vibrate a lot and it would be annoying, but no vibration at all. I can see a lot. Um, yeah, and it's great. And I'll put in some B-roll. I don't know if I took it already, but it looks sick. It makes the truck look a little more aggressive. And if you're towing, I think this is a must because the OEM mirrors are just so small on the 1500s. But anyways, that's my review and install video. Like I said, it only took me like 10 minutes. Um, I will post an update when I get the wiring done. Um, and I think that's going to look really sick. So make sure to check them out if you're interested in uh, a set of mirrors for your uh, 2019 to 2022 GM or um, Chevy truck. Peace.